My name is Cade Parmalee and I'm from West Texas. I am at Duke University and I play offensive line. Originally when I saw it, I was first inclined to this Reps for Rare Disease uplifting athletes, not only because I thought it was like a really cool cause, you know, raising money for rare diseases, but then also too, like it hits home a little bit more for me because in high school, I actually was diagnosed with a pretty rare um, blood clotting disorder. Just the fact that I could like pay it forward and use my platform for good and, you know, being able to spread awareness, it was really personal for me. I was at this church event with a bunch of my buddies and we're playing a game and uh, I remember I kind of like jumped up in this game and as I like hit the ground, all the blood in my body had rushed from my toes up to my head and just stayed there. I passed out and I just remember waking up and there were like a bunch of people around me. I couldn't see all too well, couldn't hear anything and I just remember like, man, like something is severely wrong. doctor she walked in into my room it was like you know, kind of like the end of the world in a sense to me like at the time because all I was thinking about was football 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 and she basically said hey you've been diagnosed with like a rare blood clotting disorder we don't really know what it is we don't know what's causing it but you have four blood clots at the base of your skull and I just remember like I just getting chills sitting there in my bed like man like what does this mean like what's wrong with me, you know, am I gonna die? Especially when they couldn't say like why it happened or even what it was. And so I remember I was in the ICU for a few days on, on really heavy blood thinners and just trying to figure out kind of from there like what the next steps were. And it was like a really humbling moment, humbling experience, kind of like not knowing what the future, not even knowing like what the next 12 hours holds. And that initial moment was like, you know, I kind of passed out and like woke up and there's like, you know, 10 people staring at me. It's like, man, am I gonna have that moment again? And like, like when is that gonna happen? Or is that gonna happen? And, you know, thankfully like that hasn't happened again. And, um, you know, so I'm really thankful for that. But like, I think just the unknown and, and, and not really knowing why I was, it was happening or, or what. And I'm so blessed to be able to have played college football for five years. You know, a lot of people can't say that they can do that. I, I, tell, I tell people this all the time. My sophomore year of college, I had a teammate who was a really good friend of mine. His, his name is Trice. And he was a senior at the time. And I remember he said something that still to this day I think about and it has shaped me and it's kind of like encapsulated my whole experience with, with life in general. He said, you know, don't wait until look back at your career, man, and think, you know, what could I have done different? And I just, I think through all this process, through football, through battling with rare disease, it's like, man, we really aren't promised like anything. We aren't promised today, we aren't promised our next breath, we aren't promised tomorrow morning waking up, you know? And so I think that's kind of what I've learned through this whole process, just to take advantage of every day and to you know, live it like it's your last because it very well could be. <laughs> I am looking forward to graduating in May, early May, with my master's degree. Didn't think I would see this day, not, not just one degree, but two, and so um, just all in all, man, I'm just so thankful for, for all of it and to be able to help out in, in any way I can. So.